So that's really all it takes to get the S58 to 700, 750 plus wheel horsepower. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive, here today with a video on how to build a 700 to 750 plus wheel horsepower BMW S58. I filmed a few videos in the past talking about just how strong and capable this straight six BMW engine is, but never actually filmed a video on specific modifications on how to make a 700 to 750 plus wheel horsepower S58. So wanted to tie that all together here in this video. So with the BMW S58, 58, it's incredibly easy to make power with just a few simple mods, even just tuning. So looking at the modifications required and specific power levels that you can end up with, 600 wheel horsepower will really only require tuning and pump fuel. Not everyone's going to get to that 600 wheel horsepower mark, but ultimately just a tune with 93 pump gas should get you pretty close to the 600 wheel horsepower mark without having to do anything else to the S58. That 600 wheel horsepower number is going to be roughly the limit with pump gas unless you're talking about upgraded turbos or additional modifications. So to push things beyond that, we're going to have to start talking about higher quality fuels and specifically ethanol. So the next kind of ballpark for the S58 is getting into that 675 to 725 wheel horsepower ballpark. All that's going to require is tuning and a small ethanol blend. E50 is actually the optimal blend for maximum power on the stock turbos and with stock fueling. Of course, you're going to need the proper tuning to run E50 fuel. You can run more ethanol, but then you're going to start running out of fuel flow, and so you actually lose power at that point. Maxing out these stock turbos is going to take the BMW S58 into the ballpark of about 750 to 775 is a good ballpark. To get to that number, that's generally going to require tuning. Full E85, and to run full E85, you are going to need a port injection setup alongside a low pressure fuel pump upgrade. So that's really all all it takes to get the S58 to 700, 750 plus wheel horsepower. With that said, let's go ahead and jump in and talk more about each of these modifications for the BMW S58, starting with tuning. The tune is going to be the foundation to building a more powerful S58. Unfortunately, the most complicated thing when it comes to tuning is if you're looking to do a flash tune, that is going to require unlocking the DME, which for now, the easiest way to do that is send it off to a company called Fem for the unlock. Some potential ways around this are being worked on, and I suspect in the future, in the coming years, there might be some easier ways to actually unlock the DME. But for now, it is going to require being sent off for an unlock, so a little bit of a hassle and an extra expense there. Once the DME is actually unlocked, the two best options for flashing are going to be MHD as well as BM3 or Boot Mod 3. Both of these are great tuning options. However, currently, MHD Plus seems to be the better option for the S58 and would highly recommend running MHD tuning instead of Boot Mod 3 if you are planning on running port injection. Currently, MHD Plus allows for perfect integration with the port injection and the DME, which ultimately makes fuel control and tuning that much easier, that much more consistent, and that much safer. Expanding on one final thing here when it comes to flash tuning, a custom flash tune is going to help net the largest power gains and really dial things into your specific setup. So if you go that route and have your DME unlocked, you can start with some of those base maps that are offered with the Boot Mod 3 or MHD tunes, and then look into custom tuning afterwards once you kind of have things set up and you're ready to dial everything in. Now, if this all sounds like a little bit too much of a hassle, there are ways to actually tune the engine without sending in your DME. And that option is going to be the Burger Motorsports JB4 piggyback tuner. Often in the longer term, a flash tune is going to be the better bet. And I know the JB4 gets some hate for being a piggyback tune and not really having optimal control over the DME and all of the various tuning parameters. However, this is as simple as just buying the JB4, plugging it in, installing it, and boom, suddenly you have a tune. They have multiple off the shelf maps that you can run. And this is going to be a good option option again for anyone who's just looking to tune the S58 and maybe stick with a bit more of a conservative tune. 
you can still make great power with the JB4. Hitting that 650 to 700 wheel horsepower mark is very possible. You're just a little bit more limited in tuning and in overall capabilities without having the DME unlocked. Moving on to the next major modifications that I talked about at the beginning of the video, we have port injection and low pressure fuel pump upgrades. The reason for these upgrades is again, as I briefly mentioned, the S58 can handle 100% E85 on the stock fuel system, but it cannot handle that much E85 when you're looking to make 700 plus wheel horsepower. So if you're really looking to push the stock turbos to their limits, or looking for aftermarket upgraded turbochargers, then port injection is really going to be your best option for fueling. Not only does this allow for maximum power on the stock turbos, but it also builds in a ton of additional headroom. If you're looking to do upgraded turbos in the future, these port injection setups can flow significantly more fuel. Port injectors are also a lot easier to upgrade in the future. And if you have the proper low pressure fuel pump setup, a port injection setup can easily support 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 plus wheel horsepower. So port injection is really the essential thing to start pushing past that 725 wheel horsepower mark. And again, to support that port injection setup, you're also going to want to upgrade the low pressure fuel pump. Now, if you're running stock turbos, you can get away with a very conservative low pressure fuel pump upgrade. Something like a stage one offering will be more than enough flow to support port injection on stock turbos. But if you know you want to upgrade turbos in the future, you might consider building it a bit more headroom and going for a bit of a better flowing low pressure fuel pump. But ultimately the point remains a tune port injection and low pressure fuel pump upgrade are going to max out those stock turbochargers somewhere in the ballpark of 750 to maybe 800 wheel horsepower a bit more optimistically. If you're making that kind of power, I know I also touched on downpipes and intakes for a quick moment. These are things that really aren't required. Even at 700 plus wheel horsepower, you aren't going to see huge power gains with aftermarket downpipes or an aftermarket intake. So sometimes people just opt for drop-in filters to help promote slightly better flow through the stock intake. However, I still think an intake is an excellent upgrade, especially if you're looking to make 700, 750 plus wheel horsepower. An intake upgrade can ensure that you have maximum and optimal optimal airflow and build in even more headroom for the future. On top of that, intakes are just very cheap, simple, and can be effective and can also add some awesome intake and induction sounds. So a couple added benefits of intakes there. Now, when it comes to downpipes, downpipes, in my opinion, are even more important than intakes. Even if you don't see big power gains from downpipe upgrades, it is going to offer faster turbo spool and they can net five to 10 wheel horsepower. Although oftentimes you still see that the S50 will dyno similar peak numbers on stock downpipes or with upgraded downpipes, but you can also get some awesome sounds with the downpipe upgrades and ultimately reducing back pressure is just going to be that much easier on the turbos and the engine and helps take some stresses off of those components. So downpipes are still an excellent upgrade, even if you're not getting massive power gains from them. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everyone.